Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Let's move. Learn, shine. Hello, and welcome to our Jimaru Kindiru chat time. My name is Dr. Tessa, and I'm the research and education manager here at Jimbaru Kindiru. As you can see from the picture, today I'm going to be talking about W sitting. That's where children sit with their legs splayed back um, quite comfortably. But let me tell you about why it's probably not their best idea. I think many parents don't realize that W sitting can have um, a long term detrimental effect on their child's posture, walking, and running abilities. So that what it does is it stops their muscles and ligaments working in a balanced and coordinated way. Sometimes you'll see a baby crawling along flat out and then it stops and it needs to do something quickly and it just flops back into that W sitting position, maybe to pick something up or look at something or whatever babies do when they're crawling. That's not a problem. And sometimes when babies are rocking backwards and forwards, which they often do, um, they'll flop into that W sitting position too. Don't be alarmed by that. However, start watching if they start doing it. Because once they start walking, if they're still sitting in that W sitting position regularly, that's when the problems can start. So what happens when they sit in the W sitting position is they are stretching their ligaments and muscles around the hip joint. And they're often a bit softer because some of these children have lower muscle tone than other children, or they might have hypermobile joints. What happens when these um, muscles become soft and very flexible, uh, it's quite comfortable for these children to sit in the W sitting position. Sad thing is it's not optimal for healthy joint development or joint function. When a baby's born, they have virtually no hip socket at all. Instead, the head of the femur rests against a shallow depression in the hip, which then later develops into the hip socket. A child's hip socket is not fully formed until they're about 12 years of age. But in that first year of life, all the moving that they're doing helps the femur to kind of what they term carve out a hip socket. So all that time that a child spends on their tummy on the floor when they're crawling around on their hands and knees is really important um, to develop their little hip sockets. So it's another reason why children need to crawl for an extended length of time. So what happens with the prolonged W sitting is that the socket becomes furrowed out in such a way that later on, as they mature into adults, there may be problems or with pain or restricted movement. Also, what can happen is that the knee joint can turn inwards, which then causes the feet to roll in, which then makes their, uh, the arches invert. So what we have see is that there are lots of long-term effects that can happen. The other thing that might happen too is that the hamstrings tighten and so therefore the child develops lower back issues as well. So sometimes there are children who have got good muscle tone who will sit in this W position, but it's only a problem if it persists. So um, just keep an eye on them. So what can we do to help children who are W sitting? First of all, it's really important that you do things that build strong muscles. So that's lots of crawling, lots of climbing, lots of activity, all the kinds of stuff that we do at Jimbaroo kin Kindiru all the time. Our um, circuit is just full of these kind of activities, but you can do them at home as well. Massage is another thing that's really helpful for these children. So you're wanting the muscles to make sure that no muscles are tight and that they're all, you know, nice and soft and pliable. However, the way that my families, um, I sort this out with the families that I have um, contact with, is that I get them to get onto it as quickly as I possibly can. And I give them a short, sharp, positive 
consistent message that they don't need to think about and they just say to their child every time they see it. So we, the words that we use, and it doesn't matter what words you are, but these ones work really well because they meet the criteria and they just, with a smile, they look at their child and they go toes to the front and they move their toes to the front. And every now and then you might explain something a little bit further that says toes to the front so we look after your legs or it's better for your hips with your toes to the front, anything like that. But you want to keep that message short and really consistent that tells them what to do. Toes to the front. And then it's a little bit like Pavlov's dogs. When they sit down, they think, oh, yes, she's going to say toes to the front. <laughs> and it becomes an automatic reaction that they will bring their toes to the front. Now that works really well with little children. So when they're two and three, that works quite quickly and you can get them out of the habit if you're persistent and you know keep saying it to them, it works quite well. However, once they've got a little bit older, it is harder to get them to do it and you need to do something a little bit more deliberate. So as well as lots of activities to make the muscles strong, you need to actually sit with them in the cross-legged position. Now they'll find that really hard to start with, but if you persevere and just do it for short times to start with and then lengthen it, that will get easier for them. Also show them other ways to sit so they can sit with both legs to the side or they can sit with one leg folded and one leg out the side or of course they can sit with their legs out straight out in front of them. But it is something that as a parent um, that you have to get onto quite quickly and stick with it. I don't know what's happened lately where I am but I seem to have seen a lot of families with children who are W sitting at the moment so it's been a bit of a stuck record for me. Toes to the front. So I hope that helps. You're welcome to send us questions through Facebook and we will answer those if you've got any W sitting questions but um, until I see you again bye for now. Goodbye everyone, goodbye everyone, we've learned shine.